So this is a triple experiment. So this video is gonna cover the start of a new mushroom growing experiment where I'm testing essentially three things. One, will myco bags melt in an instant pot? Can I sterilize a bulk substrate in said myco bags in an instant pot? And three, how does a coconut coir coffee ground substrate do as far as a bulk substrate and growing mushrooms? In this case, we're doing chanterelle mushrooms, golden chanterelle specifically. So um, we're gonna cover all of that and we don't have results yet. We'll save that for like a part two, but that's what we're gonna cover today and let's talk about it. Okay, so first of all, I can tell you right off that, the micro bags did not melt. So let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> But um, so what I started with is I brewed up some coffee. I brewed two grounds of just really crappy coffee that I, I bought specifically for this pur purpose. It's like the cheapest coffee I could buy in the largest amounts. I brewed two cups of it, got rid of the coffee <laughs> and mixed it with coconut coir. Now, the ratio I'm doing is about, uh, it's about one part coffee to seven part coconut coir. So there isn't a ton of coffee in here. It's just like a little sprinkle, a little addition. So it's about a seven to one ratio. So it's mostly mostly coconut coir. And um, yeah, so I put it in bags and I fold them up. I realized part of this experiment, I was missing a few things I did not prepare for, which is like high heat tape or like sterilizing uh, safe tape. Uh, so I just used whatever I had, which was painter's tape, which actually ended up working really well, and white duct tape, which kind of melted, but but truthfully held the, through the process. So I went ahead, I shoved it. I didn't do really, really full bags. And obviously my um, my uh, bag folding uh, skills are, are have yet to be fully honed, but anyway. So making sure, I didn't know if the micro bags would melt if they touched the size of the Instant Pot directly, especially the bottom where it's gonna be really hot. So I invested in one of these. This is a steamer basket that you can get for an Instant Pot or a crock pot. They're sold as an accessory to either. And basically, yeah, it's just high, you know, silicone so it can stand the high heat and put the bag inside of it, hold it up, and it makes sure that, that bag is not touching any of the sides. So it's only touching the silicone and everything else is, every other contact is, is with the silicone, not the bag to the sides. So I went ahead and I put this on manual. For my Instant Pot, it's manual and 60 minutes. And I don't know exactly what the temperature is or what the pressure is. Um, I think I've covered this in past videos. I've long since forgotten. It's been a while since I've done a, a video, but for this Instant Pot, 60 minutes at, I believe it's it's at its highest settings or whatever this is for this. Now the steam setting is recommended. I've, I've talked about in past videos for sterilization, but it's only a 10 minute max cycle. So I just went ahead in the past, I've had success, setting mine to manual, doing the 60 minutes, which is the default time for manual and just, it's been great. So when that was all said and done, once the 60 minutes was done, I unplugged the, the instant pot as I typically do to let it cool down and kind of naturally depressurize so I could open it up. And this is what we had. The bag was a little inflated. It was moist, which could be a problem. We'll see. We'll see if it's too moist in the future as things develop, but there was no melting. Everything looked pretty great. So I plopped them, I ended up doing two bags and I plopped them both in just to dry, to, to cool, I mean. And I let them cool. The bag was like, again, it was kind of almost like inflated or it, the texture felt weird, but it, it clearly was okay. It survived the process. And as it, as it cooled down, it kind of went back to normal feel uh, and, and size. So this is a liquid culture of, it's, it's 10 cc's of, uh, the golden chanterelle mushroom. And I went ahead and took it and injected it into both. Again, I had two bags. I did five, five cc's into each. Um, I just injected it straight in there. Again, these micro bags didn't have injection port specifically. So, you know, what I ended up doing is I just, I just uh, took an alcohol pad, cleaned the outside, sterilized it, or disinfected, I should say, then stuck the needle through the side of the bag and squeezed it in, covered it up. Now, typically I don't inject liquid culture directly into a bulk substrate. So you could say that's, this is essentially the fourth experiment we're doing in this experiment, which by experiment standards is pretty bad doing that many, having that very many variables, but I just kind of wanted to see, try a bunch of new stuff all at once. So I injected that sucker, ended up covering up the hole with some more uh, painter's tape and yeah. 
Will this all turn into contaminated garbage? Because that's the thing about adding coffee grounds is that because of that extra nutrients, you're more likely to get contamination. Man, coffee grounds goes to mold really quick. If you've ever had tried to save coffee grounds, the speed at which it takes on mold is pretty darn fast. So it'll be interesting to see. Now, I'm doing this video about three days after I started it, and I checked the packages, and I did not see any mold. So so far, so good. I haven't seen any mushroom uh, mycelium growing either. So it's, I'm just happy to not see any contamination at this point. So if I don't see any contamination, I'll be thankful to know that the Instapot seems to have worked. And again, I have two bags to judge on. Obviously not a huge sample size, but we're going to see how it goes. So that's actually where I'm going to leave this video. I will do a second update. I'll do like an update video to this later on talking about, okay, did we get contamination? Did the mushrooms mycelium develop and maybe we'll even do a video where we show the fruiting because I want to see is this is this the way to go like I would love to be able to do bulk substrate bags in to be able to sterilize them in, or, or pasteurize them in the instant pot I've used the instant pot for every single other mushroom thing and in the future I'm going to try to make like sterilized agar plates in them so that'll be fun in the future, we're also going to be spreading some spores onto agar plates. I'm just waiting to get my grow set up a little, a little bit more organized before we do that. But in any case, I don't want to make this video run too long. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you like the idea of these four experiments essentially happening. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy I return to mushroom videos. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.